finally, first time on the new bike, the Dreadnought. One thing is for sure is the tires are brand new, so the it's grippy, tacky, and with all its um, tread, that's really kicking up a lot of dirt, debris, and small rocks. So I want to be gentle, baby the frame, so to speak. That's my first drop, small, but drop nevertheless. Let's do a roller here. Oh, roller slash drop, okay. Just trying to get a feel for the bike. Oh my God, it's so light. So light. Wow, that feels so good. I can't believe how much I could throw this thing around. It's dangerous. You know, it's uh, the Capra is a great bike. But as some of you guys know, it's aluminum. So anyways, it's, it's a pretty heavy bike. And it takes a little bit of effort to throw that around. This one, man, I could feel it. I could barely do anything. And it just wants to practically whip itself. Okay, so now that I've been on uh, a dozen and a half uh, rides, both climbing and descending on this thing, I feel I have a, a good sense, not necessarily a complete full grasp, but a good sense of what this bike is capable of, you know, how it rides, what I think, what I feel about this forbidden dreadnought. So the first thing that really jumps out at me <clears throat> and just riding it around so many times now is it definitely feels lighter. In fact, it is lighter than what I'm used to. Uh, I don't have the official weight. Um, I mean to do that, but I just haven't got around. But because it's lighter, I feel that I can throw it around a little bit more. It's more playful. Uh, in addition, it feels like it climbs better than what I'm used to. And I'm comparing this to my previous bike, which is the, the Capra, all aluminum. You know, that bike is a, a bruiser. In comparison, this thing is a freaking featherweight, but capable. 
you know, with the lightness, I also have to be more careful in that it feels more squirrely. And what I mean by that is it, it feels like it wants to get out from under me. So I've got to learn to control it better, which ultimately will make me a better rider. And descending, man, let's think of descend. So onto the equipment, which for the most part has really nothing to do with the, the bike itself, honestly speaking. But I, I mention it because it just adds overall to the bike perception that the bike feels good, operates good, rides good. So and that's starting, starting with the AXS GX. I like it. Am I sold on it? Not yet. I need to put a bunch more miles on it, beat it up a bit more, and perhaps I'll have a better judgment on it. But for now, it works. It's fast. No issues shifting up or down. And I contribute that to the fact that it's still new. So, so I'm not gonna put too much weight on there. I'm just bringing it up. Uh, let's see here, other stuff, the high pivot. I don't know yet, you know, maybe because I'm not a pro. I'm barely an amateur. So I can't really tell for the most part, how it compares to a typical bike that doesn't have a high uh, idler. But with that said, I do know that it's noisy. And I think I brought that up. Um, not terribly, noticeable at first, but it gradually will uh, work its way into the back of your uh, hearing range, meaning that you'll hardly notice it after a while. At first, few few rides in, it's like, God, it's noisy. God, it's noisy. But now it's like, huh? Uh, now, as far as the suspension goes, you know, the rear shock, is dialed in. I don't need to do anything. The front feels like it's dialed in. The rebound is great. Um, it, it's factory default, or if it's not factory default, it's already set by forbidden. But no complaints. And unfortunately, I couldn't finish up what I was saying since the camera battery died. So, here's a gorgeous snapshot of the Dreadnought as I wrap up some final thoughts. And what are those? Well, the pros. One, it rides smooth and fast. Two, it feels comfortable bombing down gnarly steeps. Three, it's light and it feels poppy. Four, it climbs okay, better than my Capra uh, for sure. And last, the high pivot and frame design is an eye catcher. And for the cons? One, it's a bit noisy, mainly the idler. But as I mentioned in the video a few times, that will start you know, fading away. Uh, you'll hardly even notice it anymore. Two, there's a bit more effort around the chain in cleaning it, since now we've got the idler and the chain guide to consider. In fact, I was just cleaning mine the other day, and man, it took me a while to really get things cleaned up. Three, while I feel it climbs okay, I do get a sense that the idler does create a tad bit of drag. Uh, it could be me. I mean, I don't know. Uh, let's see, what else? Four. And finally, the rear shock bolt came loose a few times, even when torqued to specs. In fact, I was doing some jumps over at, um, or where was I? I think Sycamore. And I heard a rattling and looked back. And sure enough, the bolt came loose again. So that was the, that was the third time. 
uh, and not just on jumps, just bombing down some technical terrain as well. Overall, I'm super thrilled with this bike and hope it'll last me many more riding seasons to come. So drop a comment below and let me know what you think of this bike or this vid. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.